Some months ago, I made this pack frame somewhere in the field. But as I used it, I realized this is a disaster. <laughs> Doesn't really work well. Today, I will build a new one, also with this triangle shape, but a much better one. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. To know how you can improvise a pack frame is for sure a useful skill for bushcrafter and other people who like to be in the nature. So this is the pack frame I made last spring, but as I used it the first time, it was a disaster because my shoulder straps was much too narrow. Um, this crossbar pressed me direct in the middle of my back because this distance is too short. This distance is too long. I missed the bottom board and I missed two legs here and here that I don't have to put my pack frame direct on the wet or dirty ground. And last but not least, I need another idea for a lashing system. That's why my aim is to build a much better pack frame today. I would say let's start. The first thing I'm gonna do is looking for a bottom board. And this should help to avoid that the pack can slide down. I found this broken tree and let's see if we can harvest a little board. So I would say this is a success. <laughs> Now I need some more or less straight hazel branches. So, this is what I found. And I had the idea that these side branches helps to support the bone board. And uh, this is not really straight, but this is probably good for the back. Let's make these sticks together to a triangle and uh, we will see if it works. That I don't make the same mistakes again, I take my old pack frame as reference. Now I lash this together with bank line. If you don't have cord, bank line or paracord, you can also use natural bind materials.
So the frame is done, super stable, wow. And here you can see the concave uh, uh, curve. This is for the back. And uh, this measure from here to here is about 40 centimeters. The measure from the crossing to the crossbar is about 60 centimeters. And this should be perfect for my body and uh, I have a high of 1 meter 70. So, how to attach the bottom board? I don't know yet, but uh, I will find a good solution. So, now the bottom board is super stable. Yui! A slashing system, I decided to use this absolutely amazing rope tensioner. With an eyelet on one side and the toggle on the other side. If you don't know this system, please check out this old video. I'm not sure. If I shoot them uh, uh, attach on the, on the frame or if I should use them external. Because if they are attached on the frame, they can be on the wrong position or eh, this can be annoying. I, I have to try out if it works. I'll give you a feedback after my first trip with this pack frame. And now to the problem with the shoulder straps. I told you that on the last version of this pack frame I had a much too narrow shoulder strap and this hurts after a short time. That's why I decided to make such a grass rope. I made this rope on the video from last Friday. It's not my idea to use such a rope as shoulder strap and hip belt. I saw this on the YouTube channel from Henry Marco. The link to his channel you find in the description box below. Now, let's try out if it works. Now, I want to show you how to attach the rope. First thing you have to do is to look for the middle point. This is here. Go through under this crossing. So, like this. Take one end. Go through this eyelet. Take the other end, go also through the eyelet. So, 
And now, pull on the rope. Yep. So, this is done. So after that, take the frame on your back and take the two strands over your shoulder. Go back, pull the rope around the crossbar and come back to the front. And now you can use the rope as hip belt, like this. Wow, super. And now I have to attach the load on the back frame. So my friends, to be honest, this pack frame is just a dream. It's <laughs> unbelievable. No, no pressure points, no, no crossbar in the middle of my back, <laughs> nothing. It's perfect, it's like a backpack. So I, I like it very much. So I, I would recommend, try it out. That's fantastic. Okay, I hope you like this project as I do. <clears throat> Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao.